Hello, my name is Ross Turner, aka Mr. Turner, and welcome back to another video. Now, to those of you who have subscribed to me, I know this is a bit of a different video from the regular as I do show my face. So this is not a video due to the fact that I dropped my phone and the camera is a little bit cracked. I just need to repair that. Without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about the top three forex traders I think that has influenced or shaped South Africa in terms of the forex trading industry. Now I've made this video four times already and I don't think I've quite made my point. The last video I made a little bit of an exposed video exposing exactly how these traders make their money and that you can check in my previous video called forex trader uh, forex trading now i'm going to talk about these three forex traders and i want you to know that i'm not saying forex trading is a scam but i am picking these three guys out and i'm going to explain just a little bit about what they have done and how they have influenced or shaped this industry okay ref wayne I consider this guy to be a scam artist. Uh, first of all, when he brought out Pipcoin, he got people to have these referral links. So if your friend signs up, then guess what? You get some money. And that's, <laughs> that's kind of like a permanent scheme. I mean, if you have 20 people under you, you're getting money from them. Those 20 people have five people under them. They're getting money from them and then it goes up to you. I mean, it's endless. Pyramid scheme. Classic. Done. Second of all, my friend spent his entire savings on Pipcoin and did not get a single return back. As he promised, 30% return within the first month. It's ridiculous. And he kept on saying, just hold on guys, when he, when he couldn't meet the deadline. He says, hold on guys, just wait, we, we experiencing a bit of this or a bit of that. My friend never saw his money back. Um, now, I haven't spoken to him in the recent years, but I mean, that was three, three years ago. So, in my mind, Ref Wayne, I'm sorry, you're a scam artist. However, your marketing tactics, um, they were quite, quite clever. I mean, sh the classic showing off wealth and money and cars. Um, he did it so well that I really thought this guy was a billionaire. He could be a multimillionaire, who knows? Uh, is that private jet his? Again, you never know. Could be someone else's, he's just taking photos with them. <laughs> it's just, it's just... A, s a sad story because I really wanted to believe in Ref Wayne, how he was building houses for his mom and how his mom was telling him not to buy too many cars and he said that he's driven every single dream car of his and it really got to me and I really wanted to believe in him but unfortunately I don't. He is a scam artist, he scam people from lots of money and even some of these forex traders do not want to associate themselves with ref wayne hey let me know down in the comment section down below i would like to try and see if he redeemed himself or is he continuing with his scams let me know um i still don't know how these people don't go to jail but it's fine moving on to the golden boy of south africa sandile shezi the youngest millionaire yeah, in Durban. Wow, this guy is everywhere. When you type in forex trading, his face pops up. I mean, he's on billboards. He's getting money. He's on 40 under 40. And yeah, um, he's getting awards for his his work. And look, my thing with Sandile Shezi is I have no beef with him. He's just good at marketing. Is he a scam artist? I don't think so. Because a lot of the tactics that he uses, a lot of these big companies use already. So he's clever in the way that he positions himself. He hustles hard. Is some of his business practices unethical? Yes. Yes, they are unethical. I mean, the way that he markets himself to poor people in order to get their money. 
lots of companies do that. I did find it quite funny that in some of his speeches, he used that um, motivation uh, speaker where he said that his guru took him out to the ocean at 4 a.m. and stuck his head under in the sea and said, if uh, you want it as bad as you can breathe, I don't know the quote, I'll put it up now. He used that and said that his guru did that to him. So when things like that happen, you, you get to question like, okay, you kind of lied about that. What else are you lying about? You know what I'm saying? And there was this one interview where he took uh, the reporter to Mlazi and said, that's where he was brought up. But I know for a fact where his family stays because I'm friends with his sister. So if Sandile didn't live with his sister, then I would understand if he lived with his gran and whatever, and I would retract my statement. But hey, bruh, they have a double story house. It's looking nice. Um, <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But anyway, back to the main story. Is Sandile Shezi a scam artist? No, I don't think so. It's just an aggressive marketer using tactics that is already out there. And good job on him. He's really good at what he does. I just get annoyed sometimes when I see stuff that isn't true. Okay. Next guy, Cashflow Nobo. Uh, he's kind of like an OG of Forex trading. I think he was one of the first guys to do these methods of uh, courses. And, and uh, he really modeled how Forex trading is. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, there could be other guys out there look there's so many people doing forex trading now from the age of 18 to 24 it seems like a big trend to drop out take that student money take that student loan and put it straight into forex trading and try and make some money out of that um sandile shezi really set the the precedent there <laughs> uh cash flow going back to him uh look I just recently came across an article saying that he scammed a man. Uh, this was on 7th May 2018 by Soweto Live News Report. Uh, cash flow, I really wanted to believe in him and um, I won a competition to get one of his free courses when he gave me a phone call. I was like, geez, you know, I can't believe it. I'm going to make it now. I've got a free course from cash flow but when he phoned me he said i needed a minimum amount of 5k or 10k whatever it was and i had no money at the time so i was like oh, damn you know i kind of gave up with this forex trading two three years ago when i saw that forex trading itself is a is a skill that is developed over a year or two three years i mean there are people who have been doing it for 30 years and are still learning you know it's not a concrete thing you, you learn new strategies you come up with um with with knowledge you know you you constantly learning and for this forex trading to be marketed as a get rich quick thing is really really unfair and unethical business practice and i i think i've said in essence enough about these three guys setting the precedent for forex trading ref wayne big scam artist sandile shezi great marketing guy okay and cash flow noble really set the way in which forex traders are modeling the way that he makes money um so don't go out and attack these guys i mean they all hustling they're doing what they doing and if they are scam artists then there should be something done about it already you know what i'm saying the spotlight is on them all the time why there isn't any investigation into it it's because they're probably not scam artists so it's all speculation all opinions just please look out for these these tips First of all, if you're going to seminars and people are marketing their course at 
a massive discount at the end and saying that if you buy it tomorrow that it will be double the price don't go for it don't waste your time if you see a guy in a ferrari and then the next day you see him in a taz i mean he's rented that car if he's always carrying wads and wads of cash then psh, guys and girls <laughs> who carries around wads and wads of cash okay no one just make sure that you are aware of what you're getting yourself into and always remember stay shining keep smiling even on a rainy day don't forget to comment down below if you have made money from these guys again forex trading is not a scam but some guys out there really use unethical business practice let me know what your thoughts and opinions are and remember stay shining keep smiling even on a rainy day thanks